what is going on everybody welcome back to another video it has been a little while and I wanted to jump back in because I've had some comments that I've been going back and forth with some people answering some questions and things like that and where are monthly dividend stocks or where are dividend stocks at all right now in this market and we kind of just want to go over some things and what my thoughts are so that everybody understands where I'm coming from and what I am doing. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing on my journey and how I plan on to continue to attack the markets and how I plan on making money off of it. You know, there is always risk. I just always want everybody to be aware that there is always risk when making investments. There is no sure thing other than a bond unless your government goes bankrupt. So that being said, let's go ahead and cue the intro and let's jump into this video. It's exciting when you win, it's exciting when you lose because the process okay, should guys. be exactly the same. So we all know, obviously, we can pull up SPY or SPX, whatever you want to do here. We've been in a downtrend again, obviously. I mean, the last six months, nine months have been very, very hard, and depending on what you're doing. And again, we go over a couple of strategies on this thing between credit spreads, covered calls, things like that, in order to generate the cash flow on top of dividends. Um, I know a lot of people come here for the dividend videos though so we're going to stick to that side of it for today so again spy does pay a dividend dollar 59 and honestly i used to be that person that would buy before the x dividend date get my dividend and hope to get the market continue to go up so i get a little bit of growth and then i would exit as soon as i got my dividend basically so i would hold it for like maybe three four days get rid of it and i would be off and in the past this worked mainly because the market was always going up and if you bought and it fell a little and it did fall, I mean, you were able to hold these things hoping that the market kept going or you just cut your loss and you kept moving. Those are really your only two options there. But in today's video, I want to go over O and really real estate REITs and just stocks that are generating cash flow every single month because I think that's something that a lot of people are here for. I mean, everybody likes the investing long term and things like that for growth. But I feel like a lot of my followers or subscribers and the people that I talk to are more interested in the cash flow side of things. And what cash flow is better than real estate? Not a whole lot unless you have an amazing, amazing product and you or you own a business that of course is going to give you a better ROI. But oh, real estate. O Realty Company is a very famous stock for their monthly dividends. And what I think a lot of people are missing, other than their monthly dividends, is that their triple net leases on Walmarts, um, CVS buildings, all these buildings where the companies take care of their buildings for them, make sure they're maintained, everything, and pay rent. So they're paying the mortgage plus making a profit, and that's how we get the monthly dividend every single month. And they do some special dividends throughout the year. And if we go here, and this is something that I like, and this is something that not a ton of monthly um, dividend companies do here, and I love this, is you can see it's gone up. So if you look at a max chart here, this is amazing. From 1995, they have grown their dividend every single year pretty much. And that is something that you, it's like a dividend aristocrat and things like that. This is something that is special about this company. Not only on top of that, but you're getting appreciation. So if we go over here and let's scroll down because we want the max that we can get out of this. You're going to see that this stock has just gone up and up and up. And that's something that you don't see out of every complete dividend stock that's going, especially ones that are going to pay monthly. It just doesn't happen. The only other way you get monthly income out of things like Coca-Cola, and again, there's nothing wrong with buying Coca-Cola, guys. I have no wrong, I have nothing against Coca-Cola. It's $60 as well. The only thing is, is it it's going to pay your dividend. I believe Coca-Cola pays a dividend here. Oh, it's not going to show me because I'm on the monthly. So let's go back to a one-year, one-day chart. And you're going to see it pays a dividend every quarter, $0.44, cents, which is actually less than O. So you're paying the same price. The only other way you're going to get more income from Coca-Cola is if you are selling covered calls. Now, do you, I mean, Coca-Cola has done a whole lot better than some other companies here over the past nine months now as you can see over the past 
few days, they have spiked up tremendously. But the one thing I want to focus on here is the ability to continue this and have Stag Industries is another one. They do warehouses, though. Instead of buying Walmarts and things like that, they buy warehouses and support things like Amazon and Walmart. And the, they're the huge, huge buildings. But we're going to go to dividends here. I'm like blanking. Here we go. And you can see they're just consistent at 12 cents. If you go back here, obviously at the beginning they had some quarterly, it looks like. And then they started at 30, they started at 10 cents. 12 and now they are at 12 and they're just staying there there is no growth in that dividend and so the only thing that i will say about stag that they've done very very well and then i'm going to tell you why i'm scared to buy stag and add add any of this so yes it has gone up over time and that is a great sign in a stock meaning that they are actually stable but the one thing that is different here is their business model. That yes, it's real estate and things like that. Is I don't know how well e-commerce is going to do as we are going into this next Fed meeting, um, and how rates continue to go up and people are shopping less, less and less. We've seen it um, through Google Ads. Obviously, Google's not reported well. Microsoft didn't report well. They're not making near as much money as what they were. So that brings the investor into mind, and these share prices are more than likely to drop, in my opinion, further. And it's same with O Realty Income Corporation. If you go to Max, they've done an amazing job growing this stock, and it's an amazing re. I love this stock. Max over time, seven hundred and thirty-one point nine one percent. That's amazing. But I do like this one a whole lot better than Stag. Because it owns the buildings like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Dollar General, um, Home Depots, I believe even, and Lowe's. Those big, big blockchain stores that don't want to own their buildings. They want to continue to sell them so that they get all that capital back and then go build another store or grow even more, which is what their business models basically are, FedEx and things like that, the same way. But... O is consistently buying these, and Walmart's not going out of business, guys. I I don't know about you guys and where you live, but I don't even go to Walmart that often. But I hate going there because I know I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars. Every single time, it's a $100 bill no matter what, and there is always people there. It's always packed. Always. And that's something I do like about this company. And on top of that, and on top of everything, really, is you are continuing. No, I don't pay for any of these charts, guys. I use Thinkorswim most of the time. 0.24, and then you have, oh, it clicked the wrong one. Imagine that, it's gonna be difficult. 0.24 is where we are at right now. Now, yes, it has fallen a little bit here, and of course, everything has over the past nine months, guys. So, you're dealing with this. I, I completely understand, but O has held up a whole lot better than a lot of other companies during this and you know what let's go to a 30 minute chart because this is going to show it a little bit better we've had ups and of course we're having these downs with the rest of the market and of course we're having the ups with the rest of the market so you still have market risk the only way you're not going to have market risk is do something that i've been testing where you buy two of inverse ETFs or leveraged ETFs like a TQQQ or an SQQQ, you buy them at the same time, the same amount in dollars, not in shares, the same amount dollar-wise, and then sell covered calls on them. That is something that you can do, and I've been playing with it. It's been working so far. But guys, the reason why I'm making this video and I want to wrap this video up is I'm not buying anything right now. Guys, Fed rates are going to change everything here. We got one in here in November. Um, they're going to move the markets. That's what they do. That's okay. But I see that there's a lot more downside still than there is upside unless the government actually steps in. So everybody that's saying buying the dips right now, 
I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I want you guys to know that. Just like people that are buying QILD right now, I don't think that's a smart choice. I think that they're going to have to restructure and do some different things in order to make money. I don't think QILD is a good investment. Does it cash flow? Yes. But look deeper into QILD. I don't think it's a good investment at this time. You're just going to continue to lose money um, on the actual asset rather than the cash flow. But be looking more towards maybe holding cash. Cash has been the best investment for me this year other than shorting companies and shorting futures, which has paid very, very well. Look at those things, guys, and know what you're looking for here. Again, there's nothing wrong with this other than, you know, O is down 12.49% for the year. And if we just go one year, you know, they've held up a lot better than a lot of companies and let's go look at spy because i think this is a good one to compare it to down 15 percent year to date almost 20 percent just year to date O's only down like 12 percent so O was a better investment and it's cash flowing more and holding its retention a whole lot better guys again this is just an example do whatever you want to do with your money this is just my point of view and i've been asked a couple times why so i wanted to make this video i'm not investing into anything really right now i'm holding cash waiting waiting for a rug pull and that doesn't mean that it's going to happen exactly and i may have to buy in at a little bit higher price again i'm okay with that and i know my risk but always know what your risk is know your tolerance and do what you think is going to be best for you if buying a 100 bucks every single week no matter what is what you like to do i'm like the average american no problem with that do it thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one